What is up guys, Brandon here from TechFlare back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the color of just about any image. It's super simple and this will be a pretty quick tutorial as you guys can see. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go click, we're going to go find our image and whoops, let's see, this one, special.png. Alright, so this is our image that we're going to change. It's just of a, you know, Lamborghini. Um, and I think it would look good if this black was like a more burnt orange color. So first you want to pick the color you want. And then you want to make sure you have your image imported. And then you're going to click New Layer down here and don't change anything just make sure that the layer fill type is transparency and then hit OK and then what you're going to want to do is select the layer that you just added go down to the drop down menu that says mode normal and click hue now go to your paintbrush tool make the opacity 100 the size can be whatever you want you'll probably change it depending on like the small areas that you want to you know change and then uh, that's pretty much all you have to do now you can just zoom into the image and start brushing away now if you go if you take this layer away you can see that it is orange you can't really tell very much it would be better actually for demonstration purposes if I just do if I change the yellow to an orangish so I'm going to change the size down and as you can see the yellow is turning to an orangish color and if you see here you can see a little bit let me zoom in a little bit more you can see that it's still you can still see when I'm painting if I'm zoomed in all the way but if I'm zoomed out and I do it you really can't tell very much so that's why you want more brighter colors you want it to be not white not black but kind of a, just a brighter color um, it works best on those so let's just continue like this alright let's go down here to the tires And as I said, this is a really simple thing to do once you learn how to do it. Like there's some tutorials that you wish you could remember like how to do it all. And you really just can't. It's like takes forever. It's like a 40 minute tutorial on how to do something and it's super cool. But you just can't remember it. And the cool thing about this is even if there's like a gloss, like you can see here it's white. It still keeps the whiteness and changes the actual color which is super nice so I'm just going to speed this up until I'm done and then I'll show you guys an example this one and another one that I made earlier yesterday Alright, so here you go. This is your orange and black Lamborghini car. So, as you can see, it looks like it looks super professional. Like, you can't see any yellow. It doesn't look like the color has gone out of the edges. And that's why this method is so nice and useful. And it looks really good. So, let me quickly go and find another image that I made yesterday. Um, and show you another example of how this can be used. <coughs> All right. 
right so here you can see I took a picture from a football game and I changed the color of Marcus Mariota's jersey and made it green and red and I also added a logo this doesn't really have to do with the tutorial but I added a little logo for the Washington watermelons and I changed this down here to say Watt for watermelons and they have 17 points and so this is another thing this one didn't really work as well if I zoom in and go over to the bracelet you can see that it kinda went over a little bit now I was kinda kinda going fast on this um, and there were a few spots where the blue still stuck and so I will say this isn't the greatest method um, in some situations like in some uh, pictures it works really good like in the uh, Lamborghini picture if I go back the Lamborghini it looked really good on that and worked very well um, but not on it won't work on every picture um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to smash that like button it always helps to get likes guys so then I know what videos you like what videos you want more of and it really tells me a lot about what videos you enjoy and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and once again thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one peace out